At least two-thirds of cancer cases are caused by environmental elements. Many of these cancers are linked to lifestyle factors that can be changed. Things like cigarette smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, poor diet, physical inactivity, and being overweight or obese. For example, one-third of all the cancer deaths in the United States could be prevented by eliminating the use of tobacco products. After tobacco, being overweight or obese appears to be the most important preventable cause of cancer. Along with lifestyle choices, precautions can be taken in the home and workplace to reduce your exposure to other harmful conditions. Here are the top 10 ways to cut your risk of developing cancer. 1. Don't smoke cigarettes, pipes, or cigars. Don't chew tobacco or dip snuff. The use of tobacco products is linked to many cancers. 2. Lose weight if you are overweight. Obesity is strongly linked to many cancers in both men and women. The chief causes of obesity are a lack of physical activity and eating too much high-calorie food. 3. Take control of your diet. Avoid high-calorie, high-fat foods. Avoid consuming too much red meat and preserved meats, salt, and salt-preserved foods. These are linked to the risk of colorectal and stomach cancers. Your daily diet should include a variety of foods from plant sources, like fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Fruits and vegetables contain substances like antioxidants that help defend against toxic agents and disease. 4. Research shows that regular exercise at least 30 minutes per day can ward off cancer. There is strong evidence that exercise by itself reduces the risk of colon and breast cancer. The more active you are, the less likely you are to develop cancer. Statistics are on your side. 5. Drink alcohol in moderation, if at all, especially if you smoke. One or two alcoholic drinks a day is considered moderate. Heavy drinking is linked to cancers of the mouth, throat, esophagus, voice box, liver, and breast. 6. Avoid too much sunlight, especially if you are fair-skinned, and avoid the sun at midday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. when sun exposure is at its strongest. If you are exposed, wear protective clothing and use sunscreen. A large portion of the more than 1 million skin cancers diagnosed every year can be prevented by protection from the sun's rays. Avoid tanning beds. 7. At home or at work, Avoid exposure to hazardous chemicals. Obtain the safety data sheet on every chemical product. SDSs, formerly known as MSDSs, are documents that manufacturers are required to develop for any product that contains hazardous substances. The SDS will tell you if any part of the product is considered to be cancer-causing, as well as the recommended exposure levels and appropriate precautions to take. Employers are required to make the SDSs accessible to employees and to inform and train employees about the information. Safety data sheets are explained in one of our other videos. 8. The two main exposures to many chemical products is by being absorbed through the skin or inhaled. Read the caution labels and SDSs and follow the instructions for handling, using, and how to avoid exposure. Make sure your work area is well ventilated when using any chemical that is an inhalation hazard. Always use good work practices when handling chemicals in your home or workplace. Clean spills immediately. Keep work surfaces as free of dust and chemicals as possible. Wear proper personal protective equipment and keep your protective equipment well maintained. 9. If you work in an environment with high exposures to fine particles, fibers, or dusts, wear an appropriate protective mask over your nose and mouth. Make sure it fits properly and does not obstruct your view. 10. Are you in an occupation known to be associated with a high cancer risk? Some of these include painters, furniture makers, workers in the iron, steel, coal, and rubber industries, just to name a few. If your work is known to have a high cancer risk, you should take time to learn everything you can about how to protect yourself and your family. Take responsibility for your own health and safety and live a long, healthy life.